What's up, YouTube? Something a little different today. Um, I just finished a rod, and this is one of my MHX rods that I've just got done building, and I need to take some pictures of it to post on social media. Usually I just take pictures when it's on the wrapper, but I need to uh, do something different. So uh, about three weeks ago, I was working with Pacific Bay, at the International Custom Rod Building Expo in Winston-Salem. And the booth right behind us was this guy working with the working with uh, thread and but he also was debuting this little thing and this is called a snapper and what it's for is for uh, just it's for custom rodders to build to make and film so this in this package you get a drape cloth and you get the stands three stands and you get a bunch of cardstock of different colors and textures so this is a pretty awesome little thing I've never used it yet but we're gonna give it a shot today when I make this. So, it says here, um, easily take better rod photos anywhere without the need of sophisticated equipment, fantasy software, or specialized knowledge of photography. All you need is this kit, a camera, and a bright light source to take custom custom rod photos like a pro um, and that's what the kit includes and there we get it at threads at thread central and this guy was a great guy David Boyle um, and uh, just to show you the instructions it says here load up the the backdrop get your light source snap and post it's going to be awesome. So, let me get it all set up. And I'm going to take the pictures with my cell phone. And we'll give it a shot. So I picked my backdrop. We're going to do this gray. We got the stands here. And what you're supposed to do is... Let's see if I can get this in view. Is take it and these stands have a little slit in them, which I can't put it in right away. And it slides in there like that, one part of the stand, and the other side has the same little nifty little thing. And I mean, this is. This is an awesome thing that he came up with, especially when it comes to like how I got how I got to do my my uh, field staff through Mudhole MHX is with posting on social media. So this is good. This is an awesome, awesome idea for those custom rod builders that got to show off their builds. And those that have small businesses, like I do. So, this goes in there like that and has a third stand that you just put down here. Very nice. And there you go. Let's see. So, what we do now is we got to set up my. Phone. So let me set up my phone and let's see if I can get everything shot so you guys can see it. So I'm set up with the snapper here and everything is pretty easy to set up. Um, as you see I got my camera set up and ready to go. Um, what I'll do is I'll zoom in to get that. Take that picture. But you see I still have a shadow here so this is what the cloth has to do. So. You gotta drape the cloth over everything and then snap the picture. And that's supposed to be the light diffuser. So I'm gonna set that up and we'll take a picture and we'll we'll see um 
we will see the difference between when I take it like this. So I'm going to go ahead and just snap a picture. And now I'll take it with the light diffuser. So I'm inside my diffuse, light diffuser, everything, and you see that I am ready to go. Um, I still have that shadow, which is not a problem, but it definitely got rid of the glare. So I'm going to take a picture of it now and see what the difference is between the quality of the picture on the phone. Um, and I guess you could do this with a regular camera too. So let me go ahead and snap this picture. I am you do have to hold up the hold up the the um the diffuser, which is a pain, but for just taking a quick snap and not having a camera in your hand, it'd probably be pretty easy. So alright, I'm gonna take a picture of it. You're probably gonna lose focus from me, but on the picture itself, but I'll show you in the video. Alright, let's take some more pictures and we'll we'll compare them in a minute. Well, there you have it. Um, as you saw from the pictures, they're pretty good. They're not bad. Um, I actually haven't even seen them yet while I'm taking this video, but I'm pretty sure they came out pretty good. I'm going to play with it more and get probably better with it, but do I recommend this product to you, the typical rod builder? Sure. It's a great way to show off your your th your uh, decorative weaves and stuff like that. It's a great, great thing. Um, and this guy comes from all the way from Australia, so... I mean, what a great idea. Um, the, the engineering is definitely there. This is just awesome. But if one thing I would recommend, like recommend to Snapper themselves is like an XL version. I think that would be the cat's meow right there because I like to keep mine still on, on the wrapper. And I think being able to maybe make these bigger so that it would fit on a wrapper, you know, so you can put the the uh, cardstock, the background, the fo the drop behind it, and then film it. I think that would be awesome. Um, I mean, if you guys uh, are interested in in this, uh, I, in no way I'm being paid to do this by the way i picked this up at the international custom rod building expo and if you need it there is the website where you could get it um it's about 30 to 40 dollars depending on the deals they got going on but uh it's around 40 i'd say around 40 dollars but uh check them out um david boyle's definitely got something going on and snapper is gonna be awesome um companies like American Tackle and Pacific Bay and Mud Hole and the other ones, if they do, which some of them do and some of them don't right now, uh, do like a pro staffer, which I, like I'm a part of, this would be something they could get a hold of and maybe give some of their rod builders, the pro staffers in the rod building, not the fishing, the rod building, this would be a good thing to give to them so they can show off the builds that they do for them through social media. So. Uh, awesome little product, um, the snapper. If you like this video, leave a comment, leave a message, leave uh, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, and share. Share it to the world, baby. All right, guys, take it easy. And, uh, oh, thank you for the 280 subscribers. I appreciate it. Man, I, I love you guys. Thank you again. If you have any questions and need help, just leave me a comment. I'll get back to you. Thanks, guys.